Hey, zdravo, Borut Petrlin, uh, Top Sheet Photography here. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for all the feedback that I received from the last vlog. You appreciated the tutorial nature of the last vlog, so I decided to make another tutorial vlog. But this time, this time, my intention is to be shorter. Shorter. I think my vlogs are way too long. It takes me like three days to make them. Let's see. Today's episode will be about developing, how to develop a wet plate collodion plate, how to pour a developer and uh, maybe play around a little bit. Okay, for this test I'm going to use uh, plexiglass. It's, um, you know, I think it's, I love it. For tests, I love it. Um, some of, uh, there are some skeptics who are thinking there is, um, it's not as, as archival as uh, glass, but as we know, plastic is the most archival thing ever. <laughs> I mean, it's everywhere. Microplastic is everywhere. But, you know, that said, let's make a test, you know. So, um, first, let's take a, take a plexiglass and, uh, and now let's try to do the same with a glass. Same with a glass. Yeah, you get a point. We're gonna use Tutti Frutti Collodion. Uh, it's a very secret recipe. You have to check my previous vlog to know to know what what is going on here. First, let me show you how I'm pouring collodion. Okay, first of all, you have to hold your plate very very um, leveled. How do you know if it's leveled? Well, when you start pouring collodion, you will see if it's running away somewhere or is or it's a perfect circle which is kind of it is. But I'm pouring with my left hand now. Okay, I, I went here first, second. You see, I'm not rushing and I'm aiming at my finger. So it's like a wide, uh, wide wave coming down. It's not like pointy. Okay, now I'm bringing it back. This is very important. You don't have to rush. You don't have to rush to pour it off. Now I'm bringing it to this side, I'm bringing it to that side and I'm slowly raising and um, also rocking. You see this is when it starts to drip, something like this. When it's up and it's, it's dripping like this, then I'm putting it down on the paper. And now I'm moving it on the paper. Why? Because I don't want to stand, I don't want it, I don't want it to be standing in a, in a puddle. You see? And now, when I see the paper is not soaking anymore, I know it's ready. I might touch it. You see it's gelling, it's not running anymore, so now it's time for a silver bath. Okay, now the sensibilization is happening. Um, there is this myth that you have to leave it in silver bath for three minutes. Um, Mark Osterman is not teaching that. Um, this is a myth. Why? Because three minutes is not Einstein constant. It, you know, the, the time of sensibilization matters. Um, if it's um, hot, it will be shorter. If you have a fresh silver bath, it will be shorter. If you have exhausted, it will be longer. And if it's colder, it will be longer, right? So three minutes is so-so. Um, but you can do it, you can check it visually. Let's, let's turn off the lights and let's see it. Look, this is, uh, what, 30 seconds inside, and as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, look at that. See these streaks? These are kind of oil. It will, it's kind of oily streaks. So it, when you see this, it's not, the plate is not ready yet. You know, if I, if I speed it up by mixing it like this, you see this time will be much less streaks. But still, they are still there. So yeah, you're right. After three minutes, the streaks will be gone <laughs> in most of the cases. But that's good to check um, to check when the streaks are are really gone. Look now, I'm, when I'm mixing, oh, it's almost gone because I'm actually st stirring the plate. It's almost gone, and this is what one minute and fifteen seconds. Okay, let's see, this is the one minute and a half, which is 
90 seconds and the plate is ready you see and the plate is ready it's not it's smooth it's nice and ready to go to the uh, plate holder <laughs> Okay, after five seconds, the highlights are appearing. Now it's 10 seconds and 15 seconds. Here we have uh, first, second, third. So let's see two most extreme ones, the first one and the third one, and compare them together. So you can see the, the right one has much better contrast. Um, but you know, surprisingly, you can get very, very close results um, if you know you cut the developing time. Okay, what have we learned? In my last vlog, I've shown you how to how this mechanism of um, controlling the contrast and exposure and developing development. Um, but this time, I want to emphasize um, while you're developing, you can see very clearly when the picture if the picture is un uh, overexposed or or correctly exposed or underexposed. Um, in this, let, let's, let's, let's just compare how these two plates were developed. As you can see, the, the left one is overexposed, is uh, really like appearing really fast and the middle tones are appearing much faster. Luckily, the blacks are remaining black, uh, but I, I cut the developing after 15 seconds or even a little bit less. Uh, but this one, uh, the, the right one, um, with, while, while developing amber type, you will see immediately if it's overexposed. You see the left one is overexposed, the middle tones are appearing much faster than the right one, which is correctly exposed. The, the right one I, I developed for around 15, no, 20 seconds, and the left one I was developing for around 15 seconds. And if they're appearing very fast, then you will know it's you overexposed and you have to cut the developing time. Because on the end of the day, you can make a good photo. This is 120 seconds and this is 40 seconds and if you put them together it's less contrasty but that's all there is you know you can make a good photo in my last vlog i really overexposed one plate like six minutes developing six seconds so you will see how how that one is compared with a correctly exposed one how how tones are appearing okay Okay, what you see here on the left is totally overexposed um, plate and this one is correctly exposed. This one was developed for 6 seconds and this one was developed for 20 seconds. What I want to show you is, um, it's not the plates, it's how, how the plates are being developed, how the tones are appearing. And you will see this one is exploding uh, with... Um, exploding all the tones are coming at the same time so that's why i'm uh, there was developing with only six seconds but you know if you put them together you know because this is six seconds this is 20 seconds they are quite all right all, both of them okay i just want to show you how i'm developing i mean you have seen in my vlog but basically if i have five by seven um plate i take very little developer like i don't know 10 milliliters 12 but not more than 15 and then I'm, I'm tilting it a little bit down and then I'm throwing it like this, shoof, like this, whoop. So in this way, I'm making like a tsunami and I'm doing it quite with a lot of strength. I mean, some people are managing to do it with very slowly. This is basically what I learned from Mark Osterman, I have to say that. Um, there are also other ways, like in a tray, there is a helper's tray and stuff. But this one, this technique, <coughs> using very little developer, is, um, has a one huge advantage. 
So imagine that instead of um, 10 milliliters of developer, we have, I don't know, half a liter of developer, let's say. So what if we pour half a liter developer and we put just plate inside? What, what happens? You have to remember that this is not an emulsion. This is, this is uh, what we have here is a, a glass plate, collodion layer, and on top is silver nitrate. So when we, when we pour, when we put this plate, which is exposed, let's say it's exposed, we put it into the one liter of developer, this amount of silver is being diluted in one liter of developer. So it's very, very low density um, of silver in that, in that developer. And, and that developer is, uh, that silver is being mixed in the developer and then it's being, the, the molecules are being catched back on the plate. Okay, but what if we have only 10 milliliters of developer? This concentration is huge. It's like really like maximum concentration you, you can have. So you're using just amount of developer that you can cover, barely cover the plate. Because this is very, very low um, amount of developer, uh, the concentration of silver on, uh, mixed with the developer is super high. And that's why there is a lot of silver catching back on the plate. And consequently, the plates are brighter. Top shit way. Top shit way. Another tip. Keep your safe light in front of you. So when you, when you position yourself, you see the reflection of the safe light in your plate. That's why when you're going to throw the, uh, the developer, you will know exactly, you will see it really well. That's why I have one safe light there, one safe light there. Developing, uh, let's say, 5x7 plate, use a beaker of 20 or 25 milliliters. If you're using for, what, uh, 8x10 or 10x12, then you use um, like 50 milliliter and if I'm if when I'm using when I'm making um, when I'm making ultra large format which is 16 by 20 inch plates then I'm using this beaker why because the beaker is uh, gives you the consistency of 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 pouring the worst is if you, if you try to pour it through the uh, out of the bottle that's the worst so you know be be consistent uh, have Especially in the beginning. I mean, later you can, you know, bend um, because you know what, what you're doing. But <laughs> and now you don't know what you're doing. So now you have to stick what I say. Otherwise, you will go to... But that said, you know, this is my way. You know, you can, you can pick whatever you want. But this is kind of like a small trick that will make a difference. What I advise you is just to practice on a daylight, you know. Maybe if you want to just pour... Um, sacrifice one plate and um, you know coat it with a collodion put it in silver bath and then on the daylight you are just practicing 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 um, if your developer is not running well if your force of dropping the developer is um, weak or slow uh, you might need more uh, more alcohol you know adding more alcohol it will make um, developer run smoother Look at that. These are my books, uh, my uh, light mood book um, that was sold. And uh, tomorrow is being shipped all over the world from Australia, USA, Europe, even India. I think I have some um, great, great. You know, that's fantastic. So um, thank you for buying my book. I have two books and this is the way you want to. If you want to support my channel, this is one way. This is a very important way, actually, and I'm um, really proud that I that I made this um, resolution that every year I will make a book, I will publish a book, and this was made in 2018, and this was made in 2019. The second way to support my channel is to become my patron, and um, and um, you can check the link. Every every vlog, I'm picking up one patron. I have it already 100 patrons. Thank you so much. And every time I'm picking up one patron and uh, donating him a book uh, or her. Uh, so this time it was picked number 59 in my register. And that's uh, Joseph Treder from Minnesota, United States. Thank you so much. Uh, I've noticed that you are two years my uh, patron. So, you know, beside the book, I will give you also, I don't know, maybe this 
this amber type that I've made today. I think it's alright. I think it's pretty good. I hope you like it. And I hope you all like this show. Subscribe and, uh, you know. Oh, oh. And uh, Margaret, this is your amber type. It's coming. It's ultra large format. It's glass. And I think it's packed well. <laughs> <laughs>